Join the American Meteorological Society by becoming a member of the band. The AMS Weather Band is a global community of weather enthusiasts dedicated to learning and sharing their love of science. Visit amsweatherband.org to learn more and join the band today. Here's the video for this Sunday, the 28th of March. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray. It's been a busy, long night. No rest for the weary here in uh, uh, severe weather-affected Alabama as we had another uh, line of storms moving in overnight last night. Uh, lots to get to this morning early. Let's uh, first start off with the current radar, and I waited to the very last minute. 545 to take this picture. One morning left in the state parts of Coleman County. You can see the line of thunderstorms now extending from near Trenton, Georgia to near Scottsboro to near New Hope on to the Coleman area then to uh, just uh, approaching the western sides of Jasper to near Fayette on to Reform and then to southeastern Mississippi. Um, there have been several severe thunderstorm mornings. We've been getting reports of uh, some damaging winds. Uh, one report recently about 415 from near from Guin in Marion County. Some reports in the Tennessee Valley. Look at these temperatures. Uh, 73 at Birmingham uh, at this hour. Uh, 73 at Tuscaloosa as well. The dew point in Birmingham 65. 69 uh, the dew point in Tuscaloosa. 66 in Bessemer. So you can see a uh, warm, humid air mass head of the front, which is aligned very closely with this line of thunderstorms. Uh, that is now uh, in to north central and northeast west central Alabama. Look at those temperatures behind the front 63 at Haleyville. It's 59 at Corinth. So you can tell the front uh, is already affecting that. And the National Weather Service um, beginning to make changes or has made changes to its tornado watch, added a severe thunderstorm watch a little while ago uh, for counties out ahead of the line. Tornado watch continues. Uh, right now for uh, uh, Fayette, Winston, Coleman, Morgan, Madison, uh, as well as Jackson, DeKalb, and Marshall counties. And, in fact, the National Weather Service in Huntsville just announced that um, they would extend the tornado watch for Jacks, for Marshall, and DeKalb till 7 a.m. and uh, has now canceled the tornado watch uh, for the other counties in North Alabama. So that means Coleman, Ma uh, Madison, Morgan, and Jackson now out of the watch um, as we go through that process. Uh, the severe weather possibilities today are only ahead of that line. This is the day one from the Storm Prediction Center. It'll be updated about 8 o'clock. Um, and, well, it'll actually be updated about, um, yeah, about 8 o'clock uh, this morning. And it shows a marginal risk. That's level 1 out of 5 for much of the state of Alabama. But it is strictly limited to areas ahead of that front. Uh, ahead of that line of storms. Slight, a small part of uh, northeast Alabama included in the uh, slight risk, the area two out of five that extends on up into uh, Georgia, eastern Tennessee, the Carolinas. Now, this is the HRRR showing where we expect that uh, line of storms to be um, by 7 a.m. It'll be approaching the Birmingham metro area, extending generally along I-59. It will continue pushing to the southeast and weakening. Uh, this is by noon. You can see it's in the I-85 corridor between Auburn and Montgomery, but uh, really beginning to fall apart, and it is out of southeast Alabama by 4 p.m. this afternoon. Now, behind the front, you can expect some clearing. Uh, still a mostly cloudy day, especially until later in the afternoon, but areas from the northwest will see uh, some clearing. Uh, temperatures behind the front are going to hold in the 60s, uh, while ahead of the front we'll see highs top out early, uh, in the uh, lower 70s, uh, but again, uh, leveling off and beginning to fall uh, behind the front as it moves through. Now, tonight, you can expect um, clearing skies by morning. Temperatures going to be quite chilly. Uh, middle 30s over north Alabama, well, and upper 30s over north central Alabama with lower 40s to the south. So it'll be uh, quite a different feel uh, tomorrow morning than you're experiencing early this morning, high pressure builds into Alabama. Monday should be a, a fine day. Uh, temperatures topping out the middle and upper 60s uh, with uh, nary a cloud in sight. Should be a gorgeous day uh, across Alabama as high pressure builds in. Tuesday looks nice, too. Uh, we'll start off in the lower middle 40s. We'll climb uh, into the lower 70s by afternoon. 
uh, but moisture will begin surging in by late Tuesday afternoon. You could see a late shower, especially over central sections, uh, with showers becoming likely uh, Tuesday night and then becoming more likely as the frontal system approaches uh, early Wednesday morning. Wednesday morning looks like a, a rainy time continuing into the afternoon hours, and there is some uh, threat of severe weather. Uh, with those time temperatures, uh, instability values should be approaching, uh, you know, about where we need to be, 1,000 to 2,000 joules per kilogram, especially along and south of I-59, maybe uh, a little bit north of that earlier. But uh, the chance of thunderstorms, some of those could be strong to severe, is there for Wednesday, and that's something we'll have to watch after we get through this system. Now, the front sweeps on through quickly Wednesday night. Uh, leading to clearing skies, windy conditions, and much cooler uh, weather for Thursday. We'll uh, drop into the uh, middle 30s to upper 30s across north and central Alabama by Thursday morning. Few of the normally colder spots in north Alabama could see frost or even freezing conditions. So, as we always tell you, uh, wait until um, you know, wait until at least Good Friday to plant, and that's going to be good advice this year. Um, we'll be in the uh, middle and upper 50s on Thursday afternoon. Uh, good Friday, uh, still not safe to plant. <laughs> uh, high pressure over Alabama will be beautiful on Friday. Temperatures timing out in the upper 50s and lower 60s. Uh, but Saturday morning, uh, it looks like we could still be uh, in the um, middle and upper uh, middle and upper 30s, some lower 30s over North Alabama. So a chilly start to Saturday, but we'll warm nicely uh, into the uh, middle and upper 60s. Uh, during the day and then uh, Sunday uh, beautiful weather for Easter sunrise services uh, a chilly start again uh, but will warm uh, well into the 60s to near 70 degrees voodoo territory moving on out we get into an extended dry period uh, after the rain moves out this Wednesday night we could see another a week with no rain and no storms in Alabama and we'll take that uh, but rain and thunderstorms will move back into the picture by Wednesday night the 7th and early on the Thursday the 8th. Uh, here's temperatures uh, starting, at, well, we've actually probably seen our high temperatures uh, most areas north of I-59. Temperatures dropping behind that will uh, be near 40. This is the National Balloon of Models. By, four, uh, by Monday morning, we'll be near 40. Uh, middle and upper 60s on Monday. Uh, back uh, lower and middle 70s on Tuesday. Uh, close to 70 on Wednesday, then falling back as that frontal system approaches, but by next Sunday, Easter Sunday, uh, middle 40s to start the day, lower and middle 70s uh, during the day. Well, that's your weather video for this uh, Sunday, the 28th of uh, March. I uh, hope you check Weather Brains out tomorrow night. We've got a very special show. We're going to talk to some folks affected by uh, the tornadoes this week, including our uh, very own James Spann, an amazing story from Noonan, Georgia. So make sure you tune in to that tomorrow night, live on uh, YouTube, uh, on the uh, digital channels, uh, the, the subcarrier channels, and also at live.bigbrainsmedia.com. Uh, and then you can catch it uh, when it's released uh, into the uh, general wilds uh, late Monday night, early Tuesday morning, uh, wherever you get your podcasts, including weatherbrains.com and right here on the Alabama WX blog. I'll have uh, frequent updates through the morning. Scott Martin will join in to make sure we don't miss anything as this uh, squall line moves on through. I'll have a, a forecast update around noon and uh, any other updates that we need all day long. Well, until I see you next Sunday, as I always tell you, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at. Join the American Meteorological Society by becoming a member of the band. The AMS Weather Band is a global community of weather enthusiasts dedicated to learning and sharing their love of science. Visit amsweatherband.org to learn more and join the band today.